Also, I haven't forgotten about uh, the goals for the Perler Beads. I think it was at like 100. It was a Simba or something. Hmm. That'd be interesting. I'm pretty sure there's already a pre-made... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. For a second, I thought it was going to crash into a wall. No barrel roll. Not in this claustrophobic <laughs> area. Good God. You should play the other one where it's like with the dinosaurs. That'd oh, be uh, fun. Star Fox Adventures? Yeah. I've never played a Star Fox game. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I've heard the game was pretty underwhelming. Like, my brother blasted through it in like one night. And at the same time, I heard it had some pretty mixed reviews. I j take what I say with a pinch of salt. I don't know. I just heard some. Uh, I heard some things about it. I didn't know you had a brother. Yeah, I don't talk about him all that much. In fact, I don't. I prefer not to talk about my family all the time because I. No, I get that. I get that. And I just didn't know you had a brother. I was like, oh, that that's a trivia I did not know about you. Well, in that case, the more you know. I mean, if it makes you feel better. I got, I got an old, uh, I have four brothers. Oh, I remember you mentioned you had a brother who's autistic. Yep, uh, he's the youngest, but the other two are by marriage, and the other one's a half-brother. And he has a kid of his own, so... <laughs> But yeah, I have nothing but brothers in my family. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh, this is so narrow. Ah, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? God damn it. Whoa, shit. That was a close call. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Oh, it's on automatic. Oh, those lovely polygons. If people used to say this looked good back in the day. I know. Super but, effects chip. But, like, oh, did you hear, actually, speaking of old games, did you hear on the Switch that they're releasing, uh, re-releasing Game Boy and, uh, Game Boy Advance games? Oh, I saw, I saw Nintendo Direct. I know very much about it. What the fuck hit me? Oh. oh I Jesus. have the Game Boy. I don't have the Game Boy Advance because I don't have the family plan. Oh. Oh, you have, um, on your, uh, your Nintendo account? Yeah. I only have the $20 a month thing, which is, or $20 a year, which is not that bad, to be perfectly honest. Because <laughs> um, you get a lot of access to old games and stuff. I would love to get the Game Boy Advance ones, because I did play a lot of Ruby and Sapphire in my youth. So I'd be like, oh, that'd be so much fun to, like, tiptoe through the nostalgic tulips. But I was, like, playing Tetris for an hour. They're going to bring Pokemon. The one thing I'm excited for is the Pokemon trading card game. Oh, I can't wait. Ah! <laughs> Didn't know you had a soft spot for nostalgic games. I I, I have. Dude. Let, let, I'll, I'll give you a tour. Hold on. Okay. It's going to be really weird. But let me see if I can do it with the camera here. Can I turn on my camera here? Does it work? Uh, I don't think the chat is able to see it. Well, that's like my whole setup, if you can see it. Um, we have, there's a Game Boy there with some smaller stuff. I have a Super uh, Case or a Super NES with like the tiny ones that you can like plug and play. It has a shit ton of games. We have a Switch. We have a Wii U. We have oh, uh, it. A, a Wii. We have a SNES. We have a... Uh, Nintendo. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Yes. We have a PlayStation uh, 2, and I think we have one. We have a 64. We have a Sega like Dreamcast, which I would like to play at one point soon. And we have an original Xbox, and we have an Xbox 360. I don't know where the original Xbox went. Um, oh, Jesus. Nope. And we have 3DS XL, because uh, I, I had it. I pretty much have almost every Nintendo console possible, with the exception of the Wii U. The Wii U is fun. It's it's interesting. It was it's like Proto Switch. Ah, well, that's the first time I'm dead. Do I keep my bomb still? 
Damn it! I lost two of them. It's okay. What am I sitting on? Oh, that's my Switch and my cassette player that I still need to fix. No! Oh, God. Ugh. I just think of Hercules. Rule number three, use your head. <laughs> it's... Come on, kid, concentrate! No! Oh. You know what? I'll go with it. I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Shit, dude. No! Oh, that giant fucking boulder, dude. God damn. Do you guys have Google Chrome at your house? Probably. Ow! Yes. If you want to watch, like, bootleg cable TV, get it. It's worth it. Oh, shit. Oh! Uh, I missed that chance to get that health ring. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Please let it be something useful. Oh. I still need to recover some health, though. Don't tell me to be so greedy. If I see something, I'm going to shoot it. Which is why I emphasize again, get out of my shots. I say that while I'm getting my ass handed to me. It's okay. We still care. We still love you. <laughs> Slippy, get out of the way, you fucking dipshit. Wasn't the frog always useless, from what I recall? Not all the time. It's just you always have to save him from everything. That's what was annoying about him. Get out of the way. Then why don't we just leave him where he's captured and then come back later? Actually, at one point he did get captured and we had to save him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that happened in um, uh, Star Trek 64. He just decides, oh, yeah, let me handle this. Okay, I can't tell if this guy is going to go up or down. Oh, I left the milk out. Damn it. Okay, now I can actually shoot these things. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. Okay. Oh, shit. Nope. Nope. Oh, he's flying close, isn't he? Yep. I saw it coming. Nope. Oh, my God. I have to be so precise in the... Nope. Nope. Oh, shit. Alright, well. Nope. Have you ever heard of these um, mod programs that you can program inside? I want to say they're the emulated versions of these games, and you can actually zoom out and see, like, when uh, items and uh, scenes are on command. Um, no, I haven't. I know it was for the uh, DS, but I don't know if it was for other ones. But it was really cool to see, like, unused content or content that, like, gets to be called on before it's, um, you know. Hmm. I guess the chat doesn't have any questions. We'll give it time. There's going to be somebody who asks a question. Or probably say a funny uh, do a big funny. Make him laugh. Yeah. Give give him the big hee hee ha ha. <laughs> of course you're gonna ask for help because you can't do shit on your own. You know what? I'll just take care of you guys. And 
Another one. Another one. Oh, help! Damn it. Uh, so many missiles are just flying directly at me. Do you have shields? Oh, I do have a hitbox. No, do you have any shields you can, like, um... I uh, guess... Not that I bring know them. of. Okay, somebody flew away. The hell was that? Oh, that was my phone, sorry. That's fine, that's fine. It was telling me that... There's a YouTube that I follow called Cult Classic uh, Cinema Classics, and they have, like, premieres of old movies that are free domain, if you ever want to check it out. Okay. They're all black and white. They, they range from, like, early 20th century to, like, mid-50s, 60s, maybe 70s at the latest. Ooh. You called me curious. I watch a lot of obscure crap <laughs> in my spare time. Well, I mean, honestly, there shouldn't be nothing inherent. Like, inher it should be kind of inherent at this point that people would have, like, learned to appreciate how, like, films were made in an older period. Because they care too much about our current time of, like, oh, look at all these CGI graphics and everything. It's like, dude, watch a good story. That's what matters more. Right? Or like, just... I remember when I was a kid, when I was really getting into video games, um... My two, like, it, it's kind of the same thing, but it's, like, my two main gripes, and it still is up to this day, good controls and a good story. Otherwise, I'm not going to play it. And I still act like that to this day. Nope. But you can find, if you ever get, Golden, if you ever get into, like, actual filming, like, ever, uh -huh. um, if, do you use Premiere Pro? Um, I'm starting to learn it. Okay, there's a thing called LUTs, and LUTs are basically color grades. If you need LUTs, I can give you them. Essentially, you can give your uh, your video or movie some kind of style on the adjustment layer. Uh huh. And I have three strip, which they use back in the day. I have a five. Uh, I have a thirty-five uh, real uh, millimeter real version of that mm -hmm. um, color grades, and I also have Technicolor which is really cool. So sometimes it makes it pop up and you can like combine different uh, color grades and effects and things like that. Yeah, okay. Like, okay. I I should also say that, yeah, there are movies today worth watching, like Puss in Boots, uh, The Last Wish. I've been hearing that spread everywhere all over YouTube. And I can't blame anybody for it. It's such a well done movie. I watched a little bit of it. I think it was with you guys, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm tired. I'm a grandma. <laughs> so uh, people keep saying it's a very good movie. Whoa, um, from what shit! I've seen, oh, God. It's a very good movie. It's very cute. Like, I, I like how the one part I remember vividly, and it reminded me of the Spider-Verse, the way that the animation was done, especially yeah. fighting that a lot of people. A lot of people are chasing Spider-Verse now. Like, oh, let's make movies more with style. It's like... Yeah, um, but eventually that's going to start to wear thin. Right. Like, just, you know, I still want 2D animation back. I've been saying it for several goddamn years. Oh, wait, I should have done that. Unfortunately, it's it's a cost-effective art form, but but there are people that have uh, effectively done it, so it, it's not too out of the realm of possibility. No, I mean, I know that Klaus was one of those movies that worked with hand-drawn animation, and it had... Something much more ambitious behind it and not just your usual, like, Disney Renaissance looking film, you know? Mm -hmm. If you like weird or, like, old, like, looking movies, there's one that's called The Love Witch. It's a very, it's a horror, uh, it's a horror romance comedy and it's very weird. Like, you kind of had to have, like, I wouldn't say an acquired taste, but, like, it's like that 60s and 70s kind of trippy crap. Oh, God, it's this part. <laughs> 